Hi, everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Nicole. Today, my guest is Margaret Jade Lee. She is the owner of Vigenix Laboratory Services in Marion, South Carolina. Her business offers drug and alcohol testing, DNA relationship testing, and so much more. Margaret, I'm so glad to have you as my guest today. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Let's go ahead and tell folks about your business, and then we'll kind of talk about how it all came about for you. Okay. Well, Vigenix Laboratory Services is a collection site. Um, We do drug and alcohol testing, DNA testing, early gender detection as early as seven weeks um, in pregnant women. We also do, we have custom lab panels that are discounted um, 80%. So you could come in without a doctor's order and check different levels of your body. This all came about really from your mother. Is that correct? That's correct. By Genix is um, named after my mom. Her name was Vanessa. And Genix means generation. And she worked here in Marion County at the hospital for years as a lab tech. And she passed when I was 11 due to a car accident. And I just, I turned that pain into purpose. And now I'm living out my purpose every day I come in here. You know, I just imagine that, you know, she's with me and she's proud of me. 100% she is with you and (laughs) proud of you. And I know that was hard to lose a parent at such a young age. It's never easy to lose anyone, but especially when you're a child, I think it's wonderful how you didn't become bitter, but you turned that pain into a purpose. How did you do that? How were you able to do that? Because a lot of people can't. Yeah, well, my main thing is my relationship with Christ. Like my faith has brought me since a child. She introduced me to Jesus at a young age. It's like she almost knew that I would need him, you know, as my mom. And the older I got, the more I went through, you know, because we're all human and we make mistakes, but he's always been there. And so it's like, I just, I don't know, one day I got tired. Actually, I got sick because that goes back to my, what I offer. So the discounted lab panels, um, I offer thyroid panels. So I had hypothyroidism and my doctor didn't think to check my thyroid. So I went and I took that to her and she checked it and it was super low. So I had gained almost, I was almost 400 pounds and that I decided to have weight loss surgery. So I had the gastric sleeve and after I um, had, I got the gastric sleeve and I caught COVID a month after So in catching COVID, I developed a blood clot in my lung. And so I was in the hospital bed and I was like, Lord, if you just get me out of here, you know, surrounded by death, so many people were still dying from it. But I promised him that I would definitely walk in purpose. And ever since then, I got released from the hospital and I've been running ever since. (laughs) Wow. So really what you're doing is helping people in a way that sort of helped you save your life with doing blood work and finding things out about what was going on with your body. So tell me about the transition from getting the surgery, getting sick, finding out what was wrong. Talk about your own personal health journey. I feel like that will definitely be relatable to those listening today. Definitely. So young, especially young women, we think, you know, it's our decision making or our eating habits and things like that. But it could also be just your hormones and the birth control can play a factor. So when I realized, you know, I stopped blaming myself and kind of realized that it could have been my metabolism. That really helped me out a lot. And it helped my confidence. And like I said, I decided to get the surgery after four, four, three or four years of procrastinating. And my journey its just been life changing. I can do more with my boys. I'm a mom of four. I'm a wife. And it's like I kept promising them, you know, I would do better. Or when I get better, we can have so much fun and mommy can get on the swing and the slide. And it's just been life changing. So when they say health is wealth, that's that's basically what that means. It's worth more than a million dollars. Being healthy is a big picture. It's not just one fix. So for you, I'm sure you made many lifestyle changes in addition to getting the surgery to get you where you needed to be and wanted to be for your family and yourself. (laughs) Yes, yes. It's been life changing and it's a journey. There's no destination here. It's a journey. 
journey. So I just wanted to enjoy it. Um, setbacks. We have something in the bariatric community called non-scale victories. So they don't want you to just pay attention to the number because you could be in the gym and gain muscle and that number goes up, you know? So we, I just focus on those non-scale victories, like playing with my kids and being able to operate a business because it takes energy. Talk more about your collection side and your plans for the future there. Yes. So by Genix, um, I noticed that we were one of 17 collection sites in South Carolina as a whole. So that's like really huge. We have so much room to grow. So I plan on expanding to different counties and eventually, you know, North Carolina and Georgia. And but I really want to focus on South Carolina right now because we need those services to help in the rural areas with drug addiction or, you know, just different different cases within like the government, such as DSS cases and things like that, fatherhood. So that brings in the DNA testing and all of that. So definitely expanding. And we also have a thing called Vigenix Mobiles to where we can go around as a bus and go to maybe the backyards of these communities and offer these services as well. That'd be wonderful. Tell folks where you're located. I'm located in Marion, South Carolina. So our address is 2553 East Highway 76. We're over here behind McDonald's and the Hibbit Sports. We're in that plaza. And is the best way to reach you through your website? Tell folks about that. Yes. So we're on social media as Vigenix Laboratory Services. And our website is www.vigenixlabservices.com. And do people need to make an appointment through the website or call you? What's the best way for them to get um, to you? Right now, we are taking more of walk-ins because we're just getting, you know, on our feet pretty good. But if it's convenient for you, we can definitely um, schedule an appointment either online through our website or you could give us a call at 843-331-8981. And as we close, what do you think that your mom is thinking right now in heaven <laughs> as she looks down upon you? Yes, like every time the sun shines, I imagine her smile because she had a beautiful smile and I know she's proud of me and that just keeps me going. I, I pray she is. 100% she is proud of you. As we close today, what are your final thoughts about your line of work, about your business, and about what you want to project into the world with your health and your family? Yes, I just want to change the world by changing mine. And that's what I did. I pray that Vigenix can spread across, like I said, even in the United States or globally, you know, just to bring these services where they're needed so lives can be changed, especially in our children. 100%. Thank you so much for being with me today. I do Thank appreciate you. it. I enjoyed hearing your story and I know that others will be inspired by it. And we look forward to seeing you grow as the years go by in your line of work. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. All right. And that will do it for this edition of Conversations with Nicole. Until I see you again, I hope you have a great day.